understanding, took his last breath. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel where we explore the beauty and intricacies of the English language. Today, we're going to dive into a very poignant and powerful phrase, took his last breath. Understanding this phrase will not only enrich your vocabulary but also help you grasp the emotional depth it carries in various contexts. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. Took his last breath, refers to the final moment of life, the point at which someone breathes for the last time before dying. This phrase is often used to describe the moment of death in a somewhat poetic or gentle manner, as opposed to bluntly stating that someone has died. It emphasizes the act of breathing as a fundamental life process, marking its cessation as the end of life. While the literal meaning of, took his last breath, is straightforward, its use often conveys a deeper emotional or symbolic significance. It can express a range of feelings, from sorrow and loss to peace and finality. The phrase might be used to highlight the significance of a person's life and the moment of their passing, suggesting a final act of agency or closure. It's a respectful and reflective way to acknowledge death, often found in literature, obituaries, and eulogies. Understanding when and how to use, took his last breath, is crucial. It's most appropriate in serious or reflective contexts, where the gravity of death is acknowledged. Here are a few examples to illustrate its use. In storytelling, as the sun rose, the old king took his last breath, marking the end of an era. In news or obituaries, the community mourns the loss of the beloved teacher who took his last breath last Thursday. In personal reflections, sitting by his side, I held his hand as he took his last breath. The phrase, took his last breath, offers a profound way to talk about the end of life, blending the literal with the emotional and symbolic. Its usage requires sensitivity and context awareness, given the weight it carries. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of this expression and its place in the English language. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating aspects of language with you in the future.